بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers, sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can create a tapered inclined round column family So it's fully parametric uh, family, you can change uh, whatever you want in uh, that family uh, so but before I, I, I start I want to uh, ask you to like uh, this video share this video and subscribe to my channel and also I would like to inform you that if you have any uh, kind of special projects or projects uh, you have and you want me to help you uh, you can just call me uh, through whatsapp or uh, uh, through my uh, facebook page Pishtiwan Karim uh, my phone is, uh, is exists on my ch channel and on, on my YouTube channel and also on my uh, Facebook page. Okay, so let's uh, go back to our um, project. So uh, bef because I we have a family, so I will make a new family. So new, and from here as here it uh, is English I. So what I want, I want to uh, uh, sorry. I want to uh, uh, it was English I. Okay. English I but what I want I want to uh, just go back one folder and I will uh, use uh, because this is an imperial so this one metric uh, I will use this one metric column so open uh, this one as you see uh, now it opens uh, this uh, this one okay is this for uh, for a round co uh, uh, or uh, this is for a rectangular column uh, what uh, what can I do? I can I can just just uh, make any family. Of of course I can make a family with um, the bottom is a rectangle and the top is circle. But uh, I will not uh, do this. I will uh, just it's the same the same thing. Okay, the same thing. Uh, what I can use I can use blend or uh, swap blend. Okay, I can use both of them. No problem, no problem. I can use both of them. So I will uh, use uh, swap blend. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Okay, so the first thing is I will uh, sketch path. Okay, after that, uh, what I have to do, I have to sketch path, but I cannot uh, sketch like this. So I have to go to uh, left view. After that, as you see, I cannot draw anything because I didn't set any uh, work plane. So I will set a work, uh, set a work plane. Uh, I will say center, left, right. Okay now i can just draw this path as you see i can draw this path so i can just uh, lock these two in place okay after that just click okay the bottom profile and after that edit profile as you see now we just say open view now we have this is the uh, bottom view i will use a circle i will make a circle no problem without any dimension after that uh, escape two times I can uh, as you see, just click here I can write uh, any any uh, radius and if I uh, sometimes it, it doesn't need uh, because rivet it doesn't need uh, to calculate the the radius for if, uh, for example if we have a, a diameter for something uh, specified diameter because it uh, here it gives us radius what I can do I can say uh, is equal to is equal to what uh, 535 for example divided by 2 I see now it calculates by uh, uh, by itself it calculates by itself okay so just click uh, finish but before I uh, click finish I want to make a dimension this one Escape two times, just select this one, click here to make a parametric uh, dimension. Uh, bottom radius. Okay, after that, I can just go back here, finish for the top one, select edit profile. I can select uh, any circle. From anywhere because I want to uh, put uh, tilting from for this one. That's why I will not uh, 
work on this point okay uh, escape two times again give it a parameter escape two times select this dimension click here and this is top radius okay so that's very good after that what I have to uh, give give it uh, I have to give it uh, uh, y and x um, uh, movement okay so uh, I have to go to align dimension from this one to the center of this and from this one to the center of this escape two times or cancel to the right click and cancel uh, this one I'll call uh, x uh, delta x so click here call it delta x okay and this one called delta y just click okay as you see delta x and delta y and if you go to here the param uh, family parameter uh, parametric or sorry what was that uh, family types okay we have width and uh, and depth we don't need this two, so I'll select this one and delete uh, this parameter okay and for also this one delete this uh, parameter apply and okay I'll do that finish and finish now we have uh, this family if we go to 3d you can see this is the the our column that we have okay if we want to make this one straight we can do it yeah of course we can do it just by changing uh, delta x and delta y to zero and apply it so now it became a round column without any problem this is a round column without any problem anyhow uh, let me take this uh, to a project so first for this uh, file new project uh, tem architecture template okay I'll make a new file after that I'll go to this family, uh, this uh, family file, project uh, load into project. By the way, this uh, this uh, file, uh, this family will be exist on my uh, Patreon page. You can just download there. As you see here, I can just click, escape it, click this round, or let me go to 3D view. As you see here, select it, edit family. Uh, X direction, let's say 2000, Y direction, let's say uh, 3000. Apply as you see now is very good. Bottom right, uh, top radius is 355. Apply, okay. We can just as you see here, you can see that if we change it to this one to fine and this one to shade it, you will see the the difference and of course I can just click and go to edit type if I decrease this one for something one, 150 1500 sorry 1500 sorry okay as you see here is very good if I want to straight of course as I said we can just uh, delta x and delta y make it a zero okay so this the, the the file and this the project that we can uh, do it and uh, every time this this uh, we we are using this kind of of columns for a uh, decoration or architectural uh, purposes so don't forget to uh, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much